Hey, it's Lil. I'm hanging out with Kamaya in the Bloodworks Live studio. How you doing? I'm chilling and shit. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you could make it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Um, I like to start off my conversations with a game called okay. Peak or Pit, or Peak and Pit, I should say. Okay. So it's like the peak of your day and the pit of your oh, day. This Have you like ever rehab. played this? <laughs> <laughs> this sound like recovery. Yeah, it sounds like fucking rehab. What's the peak and pit? Do you want to play or no? Sure. All right. What's the peak of your day so far? Shit. Waking up. I could be dead. True. What if I woke up dead? True. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have woken up eh, if you were That's dead. That's the thing. You don't know <laughs> if you wake up dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about your pit? I don't got no pits, man. I'm happy. Good. I'm I happy. like that. This, the day is still early, though. Yeah. <laughs> still <laughs> early. Um, For me, I had like a weird dream last night where I was like dreaming inside of a dream. Hmm. But for me, that's like kind of interesting. So you woke up dead. So I woke up dead in my dream, and now here I am. Dead, you was dead ass dreaming. <laughs> dead ass dreaming. <laughs> the pit for me. One of my friends is really sick right now. Oh, sorry to hear that. So it. yeah, so we're trying to figure out like what's going on, but just positive vibes to positive vibes. to her. Keep her uh, Yes, you. absolutely, because she's a a rock here yeah. at the radio station. So we want to make sure that she gets better. That's dope. Um, well, let's get right into it. You've got your latest single out with Trina. Set it up. Hell yeah. Man, I, I was listening to it a few times before you got <laughs> here. And at like first listen, I feel like it's kind of a song about like revenge and like kind of getting back. But mm -hmm. is there like another underlying me meaning to it or is that really what it is? It's like that, but then it's like art. Right, instead of us like being like typical girls who gonna like go at each other because mm -hmm. the nigga got us fucked up, let's just go at the nigga. Mm -hmm. That's what the whole concept mm -hmm. is. It's like, let's ride together because girls always get so mad at each yeah. other like you fucking with my man but like no he fucking with y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> he the one who chose to mess with both of y'all right he playing with y'all emotions so it's like you gotta get him back and it's like so sometimes some some women know some women don't know mm -hmm. so it's like where do you separate the the fault right like obviously the guy is going to be at fault for, yeah. for doing that to, Absolutely. To both. but if like the other woman knows about it like is she at fault too or like how do you feel about that I mean, that's where it gets tricky. Yeah. In this situation, I think it's just like, <laughs> we both thought we was the only one. Right. Not like you no. knew you was cool. Mm -hmm. And then I find out, and then you play stupid. Then I got well, both of y'all asses. Right. Set so both of y'all up. We don't yeah. want this to happen. You I don't do want not. this to happen. Never. I don't wish that on my worst <laughs> enemy. That's some ghetto shit. <laughs> something that something that I um that I find so interesting is like we could sit here and talk about how you know like don't two time don't this don't date more than one woman at yeah. once but then we have shows like The Bachelor yeah and The Bachelorette it pro it promotes it and it like it promotes it right yeah. but it's like the drama is so so ghetto. interesting so ghetto, <laughs> so ghetto. <laughs> it's so ghetto but it's like we glorify it on like. TV and like in, in reality TV and stuff like that but like in real life we're like fuck this this isn't cool it's funny too with those shows because you got like the conservative version which is the bachelor the bachelorette <laughs> then you got the ghetto versions like flavor of love that's yeah. just like raw and uncut so we fucking with the same nigga like so <laughs> one, of, one of the girls that works here used to be on flavor of love shut the fuck up ice I don't know if you remember ice oh shit yeah <laughs> she's not here today but she was what on the, the third season <laughs> she always brings it up that's fucking but hilarious. yes it's like Man, in real life, we're not about it. No. But, like, if it's fake reality, I should say. Because yeah, reality TV is fake. People always rooting for that shit. Mm -hmm. um, you have your new project. Got it made. Got it made coming out on bow, the bow, 21st. Bow. Mm -hmm. Is the vibe of the new project very similar to your single? Or is it kind of a, a, you know, a story of growth? Is it a, like, what's, what are like you talking like about? To sum it all up, it's like a summary of where I'm at in life. Okay. And to me, in every aspect, I got it made. I love it. So that's why it's called Got It Made. You posted this really awesome video on your Instagram today of the oh, older oh, lady. Oh, that's bitch. She was a boss ass bitch, wasn't she? <laughs> yes. Pretty much she was telling you, you can't tell me shit about myself because mm -hmm. I love myself and ain't nobody right. going to ever be able to take that from me. Not right. even my own mother. And I fuck with that because it's like your parents, sometimes they're supposed to be your first supporter, but they be your first doubter. Sure. Because it's like if they life was cut short because of you, because mm -hmm. you the problem, they wanted to live then they had a kid and they had to live for you they'll try to live through you by telling you what you can do because they couldn't right that's the whole point i think she was trying to make like yeah love yourself don't let anybody and like you. putting yourself first and when you yeah. do that she said life just embraces you yep and everybody else has to create that same energy mm -hmm. or they know they're gonna lose you mm -hmm. and that's the whole point and if you do lose somebody because you put yourself first you don't want them in your life anyways that mean they want to control you right i love that so much what 
that that message in, in itself is I think so important for not just women in in this industry but just everyone you know yeah because the minute that you do that no one can take advantage of even you men can, yeah that's i feel like saying. men have like the lower they get the lower end of the stick because they, it's a stigma that they have to be so macho mm -hmm. but it's like that's why they're so hurt because they don't never get to be vulnerable or emotional right nigga put yourself first like you yeah. gotta have that it's same okay. energy you can you be can a boss cry. ass bitch too nigga yeah. boss up no yeah. <laughs> like boss put yourself up. first love yourself you gotta and, put yourself and first and show your emotions too like it's okay to like you said be vulnerable mm -hmm. and and shed a tear it's it's crazy how like growing up, yeah. you know, as a as a female, yeah. you're allowed to cry, you're allowed to be upset, you're allowed to do this, that, and the other. But as a as a man growing up or a boy growing up, it's like the it's okay. Rub some dirt in it, you'll be fine. Exactly. When and, and that's that's a big thing with mental health too yep. these days. People don't know how to deal with those certain emotions. Yep. And I think if if you if we start teaching our children younger, you know, that it's okay to to be vulnerable, like. They'll mm -hmm. be able to kind of carry out life a little bit better. Yep, especially for men. Tell yeah, because it's that posse thing, man. <laughs> I got to be this for the homies. Um, with the new project and the new single, and I know you're on radio promo right now. Yeah. Are you planning on like hitting the road, like on tour? Like, you got some shows coming up. What What's the deal with that? We're going tour April. We leave April. Yeah, it's my first tour by myself, so I'm excited about it. It's like my first year. It's like I'm popping my cherry line. Yeah. <laughs> Popping my tour yeah. chair. I'm popping everything, man. We out here. We popping. I love it. Do you have any anyone supporting you on on the tour? Like We're working on it. Okay, We're cool. Working on something to work. Yeah, that's cool. I love it. Yeah. And um, what else besides the new project on the tour? What, what what's, project what's tour? New We're for working you? on multiple projects. You're gonna get at least forty plus songs this year. That's the yes. the main objective is to just put out as much quality music that's gonna make people feel good. Well, I love that. We're excited to hear it, Thank and uh, we appreciate you being here for us. Thank you for having me. Yeah.